Hello, people of YouTube. This, I did a quick poll on a page on Facebook that I use a lot, and as most of you know, so I've met a lot of you through this page. It's Facebook Famous Worldwide with a whole bunch of emojis after it. But anyway, I did a poll in there on which Pokemon game people thought they would enjoy seeing more. Now, Leaf Green won by a landslide. Now, I only had right around 8 or 10 people vote, but still, vast majority, only 3 for Emerald. And everyone went Green Leaf. So, without further ado, and it's going to be harder to move because, nope, I can move that, forgot about that. I'll move that up to the top corner of the screen. And we're going to do a new game. And I'm happy... I am very happy that people picked Leaf Green because Leaf Green is by far my favorite out of the four that I've, the four games that I have on this Game Boy emulator. Now I already know all of these, but still, and I never use the trigger, so it's not a problem. And I'll, I'll give you guys time to read this while I'm talking, but I'm very happy that you guys picked this because this is the one that I like. I like this one more, and the vast majority is because this is the version that I grew up watching on TV, or th these are like the original Poke- this is the Pokemon that I grew up watching. It's not a whole bunch of ones that I'm unfamiliar with, and that I'm going to pronounce hella wrong. I'm probably going to pronounce a lot of these hella wrong, because, you know, I'm an idiot, and I'm probably going to make a lot of blunders that people are going to get pissed off about, and I'll probably make blunders regularly that people are going to be like, oh, he's such a fucking idiot. And I am. And I should say that I never had a handheld growing up. Now, I played Friends. I played Friends accounts and everything. I watched the show a lot growing up. And to be honest, I was more of a Yu-Gi-Oh fan growing up. But, you know, th those did that didn't take off. And Pokemon did. And you know what? I liked it too, so that's fine with me. hot in my room as you guys know it's always hot in my room anyway like I said I had a PlayStation 2 I played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront Grand Theft Auto things like that my friends would come over and they'd play that for a while and I would play their um, uh, their handheld don't remember what Game Boy they had but they had Pokemon on it and I think they had um, um Ruby I think they had um, uh, Ruby but still, it was very fun. And the thing about Ruby is I didn't recognize any of the Pokemon in it. Well, I recognized, you know, some, obviously. But, you know, others I did not recognize. The vast majority, I didn't. Now, I... Hmm. On my other account, I'm already actually kind of lost on where to go. So hopefully that's not going to happen in this one. Whatever I did wrong or whatever wrong turn I took, I'm not going to take this time. Hello, Professor Oak. It's nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And some people Pokemon are pets, other... Now, guys, whenever I start battling random people in the world, I'm probably not going to read their dialogue until... And, well, I might, you know, like, kind of scan through it, and if I see something quirky that I think is, like, funny, because quirky shit is really funny to me, I'll point it out, and I'll watch it. And we'll read through that, and I'll have my laugh. You can laugh. We all laugh. We all have a good time. You know. As for himself, he studied Pokemon in his profession. And now I do not know which one is more prominent on my channel, but I'm a boy, so I'm gonna go with boy. And um, um for our name, we're gonna do the look show fit. No, <laughs> no, it will not. We'll just do look show. And okay, we're, we're like I said, I'm not the brightest guy. I try not to pretend to be the brightest guy. And I probably shouldn't, since, cause since I just tried to name my character Kit Show. <laughs> but I'm, um, 
Now, if there's any out grandma Nazis out there, I'm not switching over uncapitalized things. So, you're gonna have to bear with me. But, where was I at? Yeah, we're gonna be Blitz Show. And this is because if I name the other one Aaron, you know, I'm gonna get lost. And this, this is Professor Oak's grandson. He's been your rival since you were born. Since you were both babies, sorry if I procrastinate. Um, what was his name now? See, that's what makes me happy. You see, that stuff. And we'll think of a name to call him that I don't like. Well, out of these, I don't know. We're gonna go with Kenny. I think in the last one I did Ash. I, I named him Ash because, you know, he doesn't look like Ash Ketchum, but still. I wanted my, to pretend my rival was Ash Ketchum. But we're going to do Kenny so we can do, like... We're just going to call him Kenny so I can make the occasional joke of, um, uh, whenever I, if I, whenever I beat him in a battle, I can go, Oh my god, they killed Kenny! <laughs> you assholes! But, yeah. That, that's, that, that's how, that's how fucking dumb I am. <laughs> and my legend is about to unfold. World of Dreams and Adventures of Pokemon. Wait, let's go. But like I said... When I played on my buddy's accounts, I never really did any story. I only cared about going around and fighting shit. I don't think I ever even caught a Pokemon. I take that back. I caught a very rare one. I don't remember what it was. It was one of the ones ex I don't want to say exclusive. I think it was on the... It started with an L. It was like L-U-G-I-A, something like that. I'm... Like, I could, like... If I saw a picture, I could say, yeah, that's the one. But I, I don't remember the name, but apparently it was rare, and he was freaking out, and I was like, well, it gave me a huge headache trying to catch it, and I haven't been kicking various versions of its ass all day, so I figured I'd catch it. Professor Oak is looking for us. I'm sorry if people read slower than me, but I do read fast, so if I skim, if I skip through some of these a little quick... My apologies, but like I said, I read fast. I don't know why I came here. I know that I'm not supposed to. That messed me up in my first playthrough on my personal little thing. I think I played, went through a solid 10, 15 minutes of just me wandering around Pallet Town going, what the fuck? <laughs> it's unsafe. Pokemon would be called us. I feel like you encounter wild Pokemon too much in the grass, honestly. And I feel like I shouldn't say that, because then again, I'd probably bitch if I didn't encounter... If I encountered less, I'd bitch like, wow, it's too hard to grind out levels. I can't find anything. Kenny's a dick. So the name does not change the fact that, that they're an asshole. I didn't think it would, but still. <laughs> I told you to come, just wait. Where? What age is it that you can become a Pokemon trainer? I think it was 10, right? 10 was like the, here's the milestone where you're ready. Kind of like, you know, like 7, you get your own BB gun. Or at least I got my own BB gun and everyone I know's, I know got one right at like 6 or 7. <laughs> Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. Pokemon! When he was younger, he was a serious Pokemon trainer, and now, in my old age, I only have these three left. I just realized, like, I know that it's just a game and everything, and but I just realized how sad that is. Like, we're taking, like, his final, his final Pokemon, and we're only going to leave him with one. Be patient, Kenny. You can have one, too. But, you know, he loves me more than you. And you know, guys, I went with Bulbasaur in my personal thing because I love Bulbasaur for some reason. But I think because this is the lit show, we're going to go with, I'll give you a guess. Are we going to go with Squirtle? Hell no. This is the lit show, guys. We're going with Charmander because, you know, lit, fire, eh? 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 Ah. Uh, well, to hell with you guys. I think it's witty. I was, I've been waiting on that joke all day. Come on now. 
We, this Pokemon is really quite energetic. Okay, he says the same thing. Receive the Charmander from Professor Oak. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll call him Lit. Or Lil Lit. He's just a little Lit. He's not a big Lit yet. And what's he gonna choose? Okay, so he's always gonna choose the one that's gonna be hit harder on us. Alright, and I'm gonna pause to break up the video, because I'm gonna take a break, because I need some water and to text people real quick, and see you guys moment. Alright, and we are back. We have Charmander. Well, I mean, that break is just seconds. I mean, isn't seconds at all. It's nothing to you guys, but for me, I had to remind myself. <laughs> but we have Charmander. And bitch ass Kenny has chosen Squirtle, which means he has an edge. Which, I mean, he's always gonna have. No matter what we pick, he's gonna pick something that does a little more damage to us. When I picked Bulbasaur, he picked Charmander, and you know, fire against sleeves isn't good. And if I would have picked Squirtle, he would have picked Bulbasaur, which doesn't. I don't believe that you get an attack bonus from being a grass versus a water, but they definitely do not fucking hurt you <laughs> very much at all. Their attacks are ineffective, but I don't get super effectives off hitting them, so yeah. And you know, now that I've chose Charmander, he's gonna choose the water type. It's whatever. The game pretty much wants me to have my ass kicked this first fight. Which is all fine and dandy for me. That's not necessary, Kenny. We know you have the better Pokemon out the fucking gate. Come on now. I still can't. I'm, I'm really happy that people actually are like, Yeah, let's do that. Let's watch this. Oh, little it's a girl. Oh. Well, I mean, that's not a problem. But, my Bulbasaur was a boy, and his Charmander was a girl. I mean, a boy. So I figured all the starting Pokemon were boys for some reason. I, I, it, didn't appear, it didn't come into my head that they might be too randomly generated like everything else. We're probably not going to get very far at all, since I really only want this episode to be 30 minutes, and if you guys decide that you want it longer, then we're going to do it longer. And, you know, other episodes, there's going to be less going on. There's going to be less of this dialogue every fight. So, it's going to be more just action-packed as we go. Alright, uh, yeah, inflicting damage is key to any battle. And then he's going to attack back. He's actually not... Uh, that was a critical hit. I was gonna say he, since we don't really have our actual attack-based stuff. I mean, like you, not not so much attack-based stuff, but we don't have like I can't use Ember and he can't use Bubble and you know, all this stuff. It's kind of a we're somewhat more evened up. Probably would have been somewhat more evened up if I didn't use that knockdown. But who knows, maybe I'll end up catching the edge. But I feel like the game's gonna give him a critical or something, because I don't think you can win the first battle. Because last time I had him, like, right about here, or where I was just at, and he scored a critical and knocked me out. So I was like, alright, uh, I feel like maybe that was just, uh, me unlucky getting my ass kicked. But, apparently you can win the battle. And you know what, That's that works for me, guys. You know, we gotta level up, which is fine and fine diddly dandy with me. Growing to level 6, ever closer to unlocking new abilities and upgrades. I do not remember, I think it's Charmeleon, is, or something like that. I, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I think that's the in-between stage between Charmander and Charizard. I believe so. No, buddy, you, you, picked, the right, you picked the right Pokemon. Make 
Pokemon. Battle of the Trainers makes Pokemon stronger. Pretty much the whole thing in this game. Smell you later. <laughs> Kenny says that a lot. Kenny's a big fan of Smell you later. I'm making a battle. It has to battle for it to grow. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, I need to get my Pokédex before I leave, but he doesn't give that to me until I get up here, and then in order to buy things from the shop. Ah, uh, I need to go talk to Kenny's sister. Because Kenny's sister has maps of the world. And that made me happy. I did. Oh, you're not going to give me the map. Oh, well. That, that could be, that could have been worse. At least we didn't get our ass kicked. Um, yeah, so as always, let, you guys let me know what you think of this series. Because if it ends up not catching on, I mean, even if just a few people are watching it, that's a few more people than what normally watch my videos. So, I'll keep playing. You know, even if I, you know, like I said, only, even if only I got like three dudes that are like, oh, please keep playing this. This is so, this is so cool to see. And, you know, as always... I encourage you guys to go experience things or look things up for yourself, and in this I recommend you getting a Game Boy emulator and downloading Pokemon Leaf Green and telling me how much better you are at it than me. Which, if you're anyone but me, you undoubtedly will be. I have no doubt in my mind that it that you guys, with absolutely no practice at all, can kick my ass at this game, because I suck that bad. And before you guys say it, we are going to be catching a Pidgey, as our secondary combative Pokemon. I mean, I'll keep others with me for, oh, that's why, because Pidgey's Seem to do a good amount of ass kicking all the time. I mean, unless they do that a lot. Because it seems like when you fight them in the wild, they use a whole lot of kicking sand up in your face. I'm really lucky there. I should run, but I want to see if I can just get one more in because I'm hard headed. Probably going to get knocked out, like I said. Not good at this game. I'm too pushy with everything. I'm always like, eh, you know, maybe I can get one more. I panicked. <laughs> okay. You know how embarrassing that'd be? To come back to your mom and be like, hey mom, I've been a Pokemon trainer for like five minutes and my Pokemon is on the brink of death. I did have quite an experience. I almost lost my new pet. And that's bad on me. Whenever it whenever it landed that critical, I should have got the hell out of there. But you know. I'm not gonna do that. I'm I'm sorry I didn't read any of that, but you know, it's just the you know, your Pokemon have health. And you should stock up on potions and pull them out of fights whenever they get fucked up. Basic things. To any game. If you're losing, try to pull out of the conflict. <laughs> I forgot I don't have the shoes. I keep trying to run. And yes, I am trying to avoid conflict right now. <laughs> Just because I want to hurry up and get to where I'm supposed to be going. Ah. Uh, that's a level two, so we can probably, probably kick that, kick that thing's ass, that Pidgey. With no ease, unless, you know, by the grace of Poke Gods, it hits another critical and kicks the shit out of me. 
which is likely. Like I said, not only am I bad at this game, I have bad luck too. I have literally had a Pokemon go to sleep and I was like, oh, well, you know, all the other times that they've gone to sleep, they normally, they normally only put my weaker Pokemon to sleep, it feels like, and then the one time they got like my big Bulbasaur and he was already a Venusaur, I was like, yeah, I was like, if they put him to sleep, he'll only be asleep for like two, like two turns and then he'll be back up. Nope. Not at all. That was not at all the case. Dude, we're just gonna do this just because, you know, it's the first fire attack we got, and why would we not? But, yep, put him to sleep for a solid two turns, and, uh, I mean, not for a solid two turns. He was, he was asleep for a solid three battles. Could not get him to wake up, but thank God I had leech seated, and, you know, I had one dude, and I leech seated him, so it kept my health up pretty much. And then I kept trying to use him in battles to wake him up, and he just wasn't having any of it. And time for another break, since we're right over that 10 minute mark. I'll be right back. Sorry if this was not an action-packed episode. I mean, I'm going to do another 10 minute segment, but, you know, like I said, sorry if this is not action-packed like you would want it to be, and like how it's going to be later on down the road. Be back momentarily. Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Green Leaf, and... Three things that I realized, and one of them I fixed. Well, not necessarily realized, but, you know, things that I fixed and things that I found out. First thing, audio is too loud in the game, so it's coming over my voiceover. <sighs> too much, and you guys are probably going to get pissy after that, and people are going to stop watching before they get 20 minutes in. Number two, when we came in this store, because my phone battery was too low, the uh, recording stopped, so my phone would stop trying to kill itself. And uh, all that happened, though, was that this guy gave us a package that we have to deliver to Professor Oak. And number three, this one I am fairly upset about, and I'm sure some people will laugh at me for this. Now... <laughs> Turns out that you can only have one save with this emulator. And, uh, looks like I have lost my other cool save that I played in my personal time. And, uh, yeah. So, looks like I'm gonna have to play one of the other games instead of playing this and I'll probably play Emerald not that I have it's not that I have a problem with Emerald it's just I'm more familiar with this and this is more like childhood you know like even though I played the other game like I played Ruby I still feel more comfortable playing like you know like original starter Pokemon original what's, what's the I don't remember the word for it but it's the original for me it's what feels original for me. It doesn't feel like something I'm just out of my element in. And if I end up playing this through all the way to the end and people want to see the next one or they want to pick between Sapphire, Ruby, or Emerald and I have all three of those be my guest. I personally like Emerald because it's a good... They have Pokemon and Sapphire and Ruby that are like exclusive to either or. Like they have... Pokemon that you can only get in Sapphire and you can't get in Ruby, but in Emerald, uh, you can get, for the most part, you can get, like, it's the same. Like, for the most part, like, one you can get in Sapphire that you can't get in Ruby, you can get in Emerald, vice versa, and there's ones that are exclusive to Emerald, if I remember. I went and checked. I'm pretty sure there are ones that are just exclusive to Emerald. Just giving him his package. Nothing special. Trying to really speed this up. That's a custom Pokeball form. Kenny's back. And I'm sure... Yeah, this is when we get our um, uh, Pokedex. But, um, uh, yeah. So, sorry for the audio blunder. Sorry that you mix, missed me picking up the package. 
Sorry that my voice just tried to die. <laughs> this is not the launch that I would want, but I really don't want to reshoot 20 minutes. Just over an audio. I mean, you can kind of, you mean, you can hear me. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just to the point where it's somewhat annoying. And I don't want you guys to have to deal with that. I, I, I really don't. But then again, it's going to be to the point to where since it's already, you know, nine o'clock, I'm, if I reshoot 30 minutes, I'm not going to reshoot 30 minutes. I'm going to end up wanting to go to bed since my sleep schedule has got me sleeping like a church boy because of school. And I just haven't got to where I can stay up till three and get up at seven yet. It's going to take me about another week and then I'll be able to do it just fine. And yes, Professor Oak, we will do our best here at the Lit Show to fulfill your dreams. As I want to fulfill the dreams of everybody that watches this show. I want every, all of you guys to fulfill your dreams. I hope you guys support me for fulfilling my dream. Oh yeah, this is when we can get the map from his sister. It's because we all know Kenny's sister has a crush on us. Everyone, I, I feel like I can't make any perverted jokes since I'm pretty sure these kids are 10, but... Yeah, everyone knows what's going on there. No explanation needed. Kenny said we can't get a map. Well, guess what? <laughs> We're getting a map. <laughs> and no, it's not lazy for your grandpa to ask us to run an errand. He's elderly. And you should do things for the elderly. I try to do stuff for the elderly. That's... Partly because I love old people since I was raised by my grandparents. But, you know, whatever. I like the elderly. Deal with it. Not that I'm sure someone's out there is like, Ugh, he likes the elderly. What a sick bastard. But, you know what I mean. You can get over it that I'm, like, super over-affectionate to old people. No, I was about to say, isn't fire strong against air? But, um, uh, no, it's lightning that's strong against flying-type Pokemon. I remember, like, tidbits from playing the game as a kid. And I remember, like, little tidbits here and there from watching the show. Picked little things up. And, of course, you know, Pokemon Go came out. And I was like, oh, well, I don't have to buy a whole Game Boy to play that. So, uh, obvious decision. <laughs> and, so, yeah, just... Picking up stuff, remembering stuff, things coming in handy at random, just like, oh wait, this is going to get its ass kicked against this, I probably shouldn't send that out. I think we're going to be able to get this guy. Yeah, just so we're going to have to avoid the next fights, but we will get him for sure. And I'm waiting for a level 5 Pidgey, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get those to like, just a little bit up the road. But, uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and try to grab a level 5, or level 4 at least. And, you know, raising our stats. If there's any specific team build that anyone would recommend or wants to see me use, I will certainly do it. Watch this be the level 5 Pidgey I wanted. Okay, not not upsetting that I have to run from that. And if there's any particular team that you want to see me use, then I will do it. I mean, obviously not going to get rid of charge. Alright, so once again, game crashed on me because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait too long. But the recording's almost over, so not a huge impact. I'm just going to go back to dude. Let him know we did what he asked. Thank you, didn't want to read that. Okay, you can't do that yet. But I guess I'm going to go try to catch a Pidgey. That glorious level 5 that I've been craving. Now, like I said, if anyone has any particular team they want me to use, definitely willing to hear that out. 100% because like I said, I'm not the best of this game and nor do I pretend to be So 
So if you got a Pokemon that you... Or not so much a Pokemon. Well, I mean, if you see a Pokemon, you're like, hey, level that up, then I'll definitely... Oh, yeah, I can't. Watch me find every Pokemon that I wanted to find just then. I'm trying to get... Oh, okay, I'm not screwed over. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you guys ask for, like, a particular Pokemon, like, hey, I really want to see, like, this Pokemon, I like it, I want to see you upgrade the shit out of it and use it, I'll do that off screen, or I'll put it in a, um, uh, daycare and let it upgrade itself, and then I'll come back to it when it'll be more useful if it's a low level, or I'll come back here off screen and grind, grind it up, grind it up pretty nice, really upset that this game does not have the launch that I wanted it to have, because you know, I want a good launch, I don't want to start a game and then you guys be like, oh, or anyone new to the channel be like, oh, his audio sucks, it only sucks sometimes, I swear, <laughs> it's only, looks like it's just going to be too much work. To actually get a Pokemon to the point that I want it. I want to see if I can get it to, like, just on the edge. No. See, I, that's going to be a pain in the ass to catch. Because I'm probably going to have to waste all five Pokeballs I got since it's still green. That's why I want one at a little higher level. And that way I can... Well, we'll try to catch this one. And if it works, it works. If not, if it wants to be a little dick. Okay, that's yellow. That's that's a little bit more. I can work with that. Plus, this video is coming to an end, and I don't want to end it without catching something. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, damn it. See, that is what I was afraid of. And I'll try another Pokeball. Anyway, since this video is drawing to an end, I do want to go ahead and start working into that intro. And for those of you that have been on the channel, you know what that is, and we got the Pidgey. Or if you want me to, if you guys want me to name a Pokemon after you, of course I'll do that. That'd be cool as shit to have a bunch of Pokemons named after my subscribers. Hells yeah, dude. But we're not going to nickname this one. Anyway, you guys know the drill that have been here before. Like comment subscribe tell your friends and as always stay lit america